Go ahead. Uh, well, Coach, the Islanders kind of have a reputation for playing that sort of defensive, very structured, disciplined style of hockey. What are you looking at when you're sort of scouting them, and what are some of the things that you've seen from them lately? Yeah, it doesn't seem to be the case this year. Yeah. I mean, they're a good defensive hockey team, but they've opened things up significantly. They, they're a high-danger offensive team right now. Um, putting pucks in the back of the net, expected goals for is high, a um, little bit more high event on the defensive side of it as well. But um, their goaltending has been outstanding too. So, I mean, with the amount that they're scoring and, and the goaltending that they're getting, they're a tough team to beat right now. They're one of the older teams in the league. As you get to that stage where you have a little bit of an older roster, are there things that a coach may be thinking of and changing in terms of a, a team's systems? I think you, you're playing systems that fit your personnel, you know, like they still move really well. Um, they're, they're, you know, and, and part of that they're defending too is they're missing two of their top defenders, right? Like they've been missing them for a while. So uh, that can make a big difference. We know the significance of just one guy being out of the lineup, two D being out of the lineup makes a big difference. But I, I think they're, they're well-rounded in their game. You know, like they're they had trouble creating offense for the last few years, I would say, but their personnel and the way they're playing now this year, they just become much more dangerous, both off the rush and in offense his own play. What they do really well is they go to the net hard. So their D can shoot the puck, um, their forwards can get pucks through, and then they, they go to the net and crash the net hard. So deflections, screens, rebounds, low slot drives, like they're going to make it tough on you around the paint in, in your end. So we have to be prepared for that. Coach, it's kind of a weird time to do. Obviously, you have the holiday break, you guys have some games, and New Year's, it's so hard to keep a rhythm this time of year, or is it better with the guys being able to get away? I mean, holiday break is a couple days, you know, which I think you need after playing every second day. We're back at it now. We're going to be playing every second day for a while. I mean, it's the schedule's going to get real busy here, so I, I think it should be easy to find a rhythm, you know. Um, you know, getting a day off after you, you know, come back for three or four days, I think is expected. We try to hit a day off every like fifth day, you know, at the longest. So, um, you know, I, I think it should be easy for our team to sort of find a rhythm and do what we need to do to win hockey games. We saw Ross Colton out there. Is he good to go tonight? He's uh, probable. Yeah. I think your power plays like it's either 14 goals in 10 games or 15 and 11. Yeah. There was a stretch right before that where he didn't score for. Just what, yeah. what has changed? Well, I think two things. I think the work-based part of it has improved, you know, checking pucks back, getting numbers around the puck, winning battles, keeping plays alive in the offensive zone. That's That's been better. Um, and then the biggest thing probably is just they're taking what the other team gives us. Like, they're not getting stuck on one play. They're not uh, looking for something that isn't there, forcing plays. It's just... You know, I feel like oftentimes if the power play just moves the puck quickly and hits the open man, something's going to open up for him. And those three guys around the umbrella have been shooting the puck. You know, we've been shooting it, getting it back, attacking out of chaos a little bit. That attack mentality has been there. Uh, the pace of the power play has improved, and, and they're getting rewarded for it. And everything that Nate has been doing well this season, it seems like he's really embraced that physicality, especially the other night with a couple of big hits. Is that a big growth in his game in recent years, or are we just seeing him be the type of player he's, he's always been? Yeah, I think that that's been there. You know, he gets mad, he gets more physical. Players play him hard, he gets more physical in the battles. I mean, it's just he has that ability. He doesn't, he obviously, you don't, he isn't out there looking for big hits for 82 games because he plays with the puck so much. But there's certainly a physicality to his offensive style. And um, yeah, when you're seeing, yeah, that's just a clear indication that he's engaged in the game and ready to go and he's going to do what he needs to do to have success. And you're talking about the power play. We can see when the players take more ownership of it, but behind the scenes, how does Ray Bennett take ownership of the power play? Well, I mean, Nick's constantly working with those guys. Like Those guys even this morning had a review meeting and then they'll have their five on five. So they'll end up with two meetings tonight. We've separated the meetings. Ray thinks it's a good idea because they're different you know, units, different style of play, 
One's running with very little low time. The other one's going to be on the ice a lot be right from the start of the game. So just making them clear on on what they can expect to see from the opposition, what could possibly be their cues and what to look for is to see what's open. And, and then there's lots of dialogue, though, especially with that top unit. Like those guys have been together for a long time and there's a lot of dialogue. You know, what do you see in here? What do you think you should be doing there? Um, and they'll discuss and because they're the players are the ones that are playing it. They're all experienced guys. They're all high skilled guys that have been on power plays in the past and been running ours for a long time. So there's a lot of open conversation and Ray's giving them the information they need to have success. Sometimes, you know, things work better when they it, and again, it goes back to taking what the other team's going to give you instead of just looking for set plays or, or um, getting sort of stuck on one thing. This starts a six-game stretch where you guys are going to be playing pretty pretty good teams, teams pretty high up in the standings. I know it's kind of a day-to-day -day basis with you, but how difficult does that make that in terms of being able to juggle and use both your goaltenders over these next couple weeks? Yeah, it'll be it'll be more difficult, but we'll have to find a spot to get Prozzi in the net. Like you know, like Gorgie's played really well. We're coming off the break now, another day off. He's going to play again tonight. You know, we're going to use him while he's feeling good, and when he needs a break, we'll put Prozzi in. We have confidence in Prozzi too, but Gorgie's just sort of dialing up his game here a little bit. So we want to keep him, a, give, keep giving him a chance to continue to grow and play that play the highest level he can. Guys, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Coach.